I drove 19 hours through Nashville, Tennessee, Memphis, Tennessee, Arkansas, all the way to Texas, Dallas, Texas to be exact. Drove around for two days buying the biggest Texas style items within a 60 mile radius of Dallas, Texas. You might wanna watch this whole entire video, man, because you will see the biggest burrito in Dallas, Texas, the biggest pupusas in the whole state of Texas, and also the biggest roasted pig in the entire state of Texas. Lego. First stop, Jackie's Ham and Eggs in Louisville, Texas. Now this place supposedly has some of the biggest breakfast items in the Dallas, Texas area, and I believe it. Let me show you this biscuit. Man. This biscuit is the perfect representation of how I like my one. Thoughts of gravy? Mm. If you use a little salt, found some. Mm. Beautiful. Now I'm gonna just pour it over the top. Man, listen. <laughs> The gravy has to be good. The sausages in the gravy has to be good. The biscuit has to be good. They over exceeded expectations and I'm gonna tell you why. It's the biscuit, man. It is super thick, ready. And what took it home for me is the sauce, bacon, eggs, more sausages, gravy feel, eh? Oh yeah, you come here, get this. This next one right here is some of, if not the biggest pancakes in Dallas, Texas. I got a short stack pancake, which comes with two pancakes. I got strawberries, they gave me powdered sugar, and of course syrup. Trying them plain first per usual. Thing is thick too. Mm. Yeah, these aren't bad at all. This will be the first time in a while that I've been able to eat a pancake plain, and it tastes just as good as a syrup. This is one of them pancakes. You really don't need syrup on these pancakes. The batter they use is, is sweetened just enough. They are fluffy. They are extremely bready and airy. You will probably get full off about two bites of this pancake. Mm. But it's really good. Syrup. Mm. Yes. Mm -hmm. That's good. Man, listen, it's amazing. You can make pancakes this big and still keep the quality above a certain standard. I can literally eat these all day. Also, if I said it's already two pancakes, the short stack, this can feed probably about, I would say six to eight people, depending on how you cut it. One pancake can definitely feed four people, no doubt. If you are ever in the Dallas, Texas area, Louisville area, you gotta get here and try these out. I got an extremely loaded potato from a place called Gator Pit Barbecue in Lancaster, Texas. Lancaster, Texas. Good old Texas. Hot though, mighty. That's gonna make you bust one. That's gonna get the juices for one right there. Mm. Chopped brisket, links, sausage, chicken, ribs with scallion, cheese, and obviously the baked potato. You can get this mild and spicy. I got both. I ain't know really what to get because I didn't want it to be too hot and then I didn't want it to be flavorless. You feel what I'm saying? If you get it, get half and half. I'll tell you one thing, it's not spicy at all, but it is, it is rather sweet. Mm. When I tell y'all with no hesitation, they stack up, they pile up a lot of meat on the potato man. I ain't gonna lie to you. Now, obviously there's a negative to this, to this bullshit. I'm not sure what it is. Maybe it's a chopped brisket or maybe it's a chicken. But some of the meat in here is tough. I can't tell because the sauce is making everything sweet. There's a lot going on in this mama, gonna say the least, all right? Mm. Tell you one thing Texas is not gonna do. They are not gonna miss when it comes to barbecue. Anything. I do wanna get a big chunk of everything just so y'all can see how this looks. Ugh. Yeah, man. That ain't where around Dallas, no longer is true. Bring your ass over here and get this. Next stop, Sushi Dojo in South Lake, Texas. This place has this big sushi platter called the Stimulus Package. And it is really, hold on. I'm about to show you. Ugh. We got Poke, Shaggy, Mount Fuji, Dynamite, Bang Bang Shrimp, Rainbow, SLC Dragon, One Inch Punch, Skinny Samurai, Skinny Fuji, Legendary 41, Tartar Towers, and Sashimi. The Sashimi, if you notice, is in the middle in its own plastic container. Sashimi is just sliced raw meat. That's it. We'll try that next. Okay. Looks like raw salmon, raw tuna, and avocado at the bottom with some sesame seeds. Not bad at all. Not sure which one this one is. <laughs> That's that bang bang strip right there. And boy, whew, it's spicy, but it is so good. This must be the Terra Terra Tower. Oh my God. Mm. Man, that's good. I can look at this whole platter and tell every single sushi roll on this platter is legit. It's legit. I'm gonna try one more, but first, we got a sweet sauce with spicy mayo. Mm -hmm. Man, listen. Probably some of the best sushi in Texas. And it ain't close. Hopefully you guys can hear me, but I had to sit in the damn. 
I had to sit in the back seat in order to record this one. This is a 30 inch pizza from a place called Serious Pizza in downtown Dallas. Let's try the meat lovers first. <laughs> I'm sorry. You can get this pizza in three sizes if I'm not mistaken. 18, 24, and 30. This obviously is the 30 inch. Now, this pizza is pretty big and it barely fit in my car. So if you don't have an SUV, you might as well just cancel because it's not going to fit in the car. You can also get this half and half. I got half meat lovers, half deluxe. As far as the taste of the pizza, it's pretty standard. It's not the worst pizza I've had, and for damn sure ain't the best I've had, but it's okay. I do wish I could taste the sauce on the pizza, but I can't. But one thing to point out, the slices are huge. I'm talking one slice, probably feed about three to four people easily depending on how big your back is. Mm. But it's average at best. We got a deluxe style pizza. I like the deluxe better. Maybe it's because it has the green peppers and the onions on it. Let's try the crust. Mm. Hey y'all, in my own opinion, the crust on the pizza is like 60% of the pizza meat. It's my own opinion. The crust on this is pretty good. It even has really big charred air pockets that I'm pretty sure some of you guys can appreciate. I think a negative about this pizza, if you're not from up north, is that it's really thin and it's, and it's floppy. Chum Chum, why don't you fold the pizza? No! Pizza, bro. What you doing? The next spot, Chris and John's in Dallas, Texas. When I walked up to this place, it was already packed out the door. And when I walked in, the vibes was not on the hundred, they were on a thousand. What I can also say is the staff was really nice. <sighs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is probably the biggest burrito you will ever see or ever eat in your life. We have a humongous, and I mean a humongous, 10 pound stuffed, stuffed, stuffed burrito. Man, now that. Mm. So in order to get this, you have to order this like a day and a half in advance. You can either get chicken or beef, so it's not one half burrito, one half chicken. Now they mix the chicken and the beef together, put it in the burrito, and slice that bit in half. This 10 pound burrito is also stuffed with pho. 12 bowls of pho to be exact. And it is made with six tortillas, rice noodles. You can get beef or chicken. I got both onions, bean sprouts, jalapeno, and mint. I'm assuming then it's pan fried and then drizzled with hoisin. Sauce. I got this lemon you dish. You just, boy, you, you just too good. Oh my God, the lime took it up a notch. Jesus Christ. I think they gave me some, looks like some consomme. <laughs> oh my God. I gotta get, I gotta try that. <laughs> this place is good. I see why there's a line outside. If you are anywhere near Dallas, Texas, and you want to try a burrito, you got an extra $100. I think it was like 100 110 Trust me when I tell you this, you need to get this. This is well worth the price and everything that it comes with. Next stop, happy hour in downtown Dallas, Texas. Now the next thing we got is this burger right here that's coming in at a combined weight of 10 pounds. It comes out on a wooden tray and it takes about 45 minutes to fix. This burger is called the Big Happy Burger. And it has five pounds of beef patty, bacon, one pound of cheddar, lettuce, tomato, pickle jalapenos, Tabasco onions, happy sauce, and five pounds of fries. You heard me loud and clear, man. Five pounds of fries. Let's try them. Mm -mm -mm. So when they bring this out to you, five pounds of fries surrounds the burger. And they piled high too. Crunchy, salted, breaded, and just thick. Some of the best fries come out of a restaurant that you can have. Let's try the burger next. All right, listen. God damn. Let's talk about the bun. The bun is massive. <laughs> and it's thick and it's bready. And they added just the right amount of meat to complement the bread. So when this burger came out, I was prepared to roast the living, the living shit out of this burger. Because I just knew it wasn't gonna live up to the hype. Or live up to the price, that is. What you get with this burger is well worth $145. The burger? This shit good, man. I was expecting it to be overcooked because of the size. I was expecting it to be dry. I was expecting it to be trash. I was expecting the toppings to not add any type of flavor to the burger. I was expecting a lot that I just, that I was just completely wrong on. Pickled jalapenos is the finish. 
it kind of gives it a spicy acidic finish if you're asking me how many people this can feed i would say about 10 if you cut it right because if you slice this into fours every slice can feed about two maybe three people i could see somebody complaining that it's not enough cheese oh no if you get this burger just know it's definitely worth the price special shout out to my waiter oh, but it was awesome next stop pupusery mix in waco texas i ordered three of the largest pupusas in the state of texas let's see what they hit now i'm not sure which one this one is but let's just try it out mm. oh, sh i am not a pupusa aficionado all right so i'm going to tell you how this tastes to me if i get it wrong just let me know just let me know this has chicken chicharron cheese and beans i've never had chicken and this is a fact i've never had chicken so seasoned in my mother life mm. i don't know what she did to the chicken but damn it she put a whole ankle in this bitch now pupusas let me just tell you my understanding of pupusas they seem to be corn cakes filled with whatever you want them to be are they thick no are they crispy and crunchy oh yeah mm. Are these something I could eat every day? I'm gonna be real with you. I think I could. This next pupusa is a red, a huge red pupusa, y'all. I've never in my life had anything like this before. I'm telling y'all, man, this shit. Ain't nobody seeing this. This one has fajita, asada, pastor, and barbacoa. If I'm not mistaken, when you bite, when you bite into this pupusa, flavors are gonna sexualize your taste buds, bro. Mm. To the end, man. I was expecting for these pupusas to not be this good because they're so big. And when you fill them up with meat, chicken, or what have you, the meat usually ain't seasoned worth a damn. That's not the case for these. So I made a point to ask how she got the red on the pupusa. I thought it was food color. Couldn't be more wrong. This is actually watermelon. I think she blends the watermelon and mixes it with the dough. But can you taste the watermelon? No. This one right here is the biggest pupusa that I'm gonna have today. It's bigger than the other two. This is the best one. This one has Salvadorian chicharron, Mexican chicharron, ground beef, and cheese. This one is a lot more cheesier than the other ones I've had previously. Flavor-wise, they all hit. Don't get me wrong. I'm not sure if it's the chicharrones or the beef. It could be both. But the flavor profile on this damn thing right here is just indescribable. Now, if you're wondering how she got the green on this, this is actually spinach. Somehow, she incorporated spinach with the dough and made this humongous pupusa, man. Mm. I've never had nothing like this before. And last, but most certainly not least, this is a massive whole roasted pig from a place called Heap Fong Barbecue. Hope I'm saying that right. And this is indeed 50 pounds. Let's try a piece of the bike. Hey, it's good. <laughs> It's real good. Sweet, the meat is really juicy. It's a little salty too, but it goes perfectly with the sweetness of the skin and the crispiness of the skin. So if you want to order this pig, man, you got to let them know about two days in advance. They got different sizes. They got a smaller pig, which is about, I'm assuming, 25, 30 pounds. And then they got this one, which again, this is a 50 pound whole roasted pig. They also gave me some foam. They gave me some sauce. <laughs> So yeah, this isn't duck sauce, <laughs> or maybe it's duck sauce with spices. So when they wheeled this out, they didn't cut it. They thought I wanted it whole, and I didn't, and they went back and cut it. it took them about 10 minutes. But if you want this cut, they'll definitely cut this for you. We got some more sauce. Mm. <laughs> okay, this is poison. Kind of reminds me of teriyaki sauce, but a little bit thicker, a little bit sweeter, a little bit saltier. But poison is better for sure. Now we got the head. <sighs> <sighs> and if you can see inside, the head is also roasted too. God, oh my. Mm, 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 mm. Here's. Oh my God. If you love pork rinds. <laughs> You're gonna love the ears on this mug. So here's. Mm, 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 mm. If you're wondering how much this can feed, I'm gonna tell you that too. This can feed probably about 50 people from what they tell me. I encourage you, if you are ever in the Dallas Fort Worth area and you wanna try a whole pig or if you want to feed your family for thanksgiving christmas or any type of holiday or if you just want to buy this and try this in a car like me <laughs> this was well worth the 600 bucks all of the texas size items i've had over the past two days were mind-blowing mouth-watering and well worth the price so if you're in the dallas texas area check all these places out now i gotta drive 19 hours back home